it, when you first look at this and you haven't been told the new rules that I'm going to tell you, it's easy to think of it as, well, um, nothing really happens to beam one, comes down here, turns around, goes that way. It's easy to think of it as phase shift to beam one is equal to zero and end up with total change of phase, phi two minus phi one is equal to 2t over lambda over n o. It's easy to do that. And what I'll tell you now is uh, when you do that, you'll get the wrong answer. Um, uh, the whatever answer you get won't match up with what you are supposed to get. So this is where I have to tell you the new rule. Um, this, is a new, uh, this is a rule involving phase shift. So whenever you have reflection going on, reflection from N1 to N2, or reflection from N2 to N3, you have to check for a condition. And depending on what that condition is, you are going to either get a phase shift or you are going to get not get a phase shift. So let me label it here. Let me um, set them in this order that sort of matches up there. So let's say N2 is greater than N1. You know, this is 1, 1 1.5, oops. This is 1, this is 1.5, this is greater than that. And the way I have it set up there, N3 is smaller than N2, right? 1.33 is smaller than. So, so here, you have two different types of reflections here. Here, you have reflection from smaller index of refraction to larger index of refraction. Here you have reflection from larger to smaller index or refrac ref yeah, refraction. The, what I am telling you, this is a new rule that you just have to memorize <laughs> without any real justification. Here you get a phase shift of pi. You can think of it as if there's a little pulse coming in as it reflects here, the pulse flips over. You might have seen that on a, a wave on a string. Right? And here, you have no phase shift. Here, phase shift is zero. Imagine a pulse coming in. When you reflect, reflect from here, the pulse goes out in the same way it was. You might also remember seeing that from a wave on a string. Yeah. So, uh, yes? Yeah, and these cover sort of all the cases where reflections happen. Because if they're the same, then you won't get any reflection, right? <laughs> so, so that's what you have to compare. You have to compare the index of refraction. And if index of refraction increases, then you have to make sure you include this phase shift. Yeah. So that's what we have to account for here. We have to say instead of zero degree phase shift, Compared to some reference phase, phi one, the beam one, actually does have a phase shift. That doesn't depend on thickness, doesn't depend on other things, but there is going to be a phase, pi phase shift for beam one. 